thanks again for tuning into my channel. I do have a collective haul to show you today, and I have a really big mix of stuff. I have some body care, skin care, um, makeup items, hair care, and I also have some fashion stuff to show you. Also, I will be doing a giveaway at the end of the video on some items that I will mention in this video today. So if you wanted to skip over to the giveaway portion, you may do so, or you can stay with me and see all of the fun goodies that I got over the past month. So without further ado, I will get started because I have a lot of stuff and I don't want this video to run too long. So. As you all know, I am a big, big, big Lushy, and every time I walk in a Lush store, I go completely nuts. I just want to try everything and I want to smell everything. I picked up a few things that I already use on a day-to-day -day basis that I cannot live without, and I also picked up some new things that I wanted to try. First, I picked up this Retread hair conditioner and I already reviewed this in my last video a replenishment of my ocean salt and as you all know this is my absolute favorite body scrub and I recommend this to anyone I know my boyfriend uses it I know my friends use it because of my recommendation and if you tan and you shave and you wax this is the best exfoliator for your body a bath bomb this one is sex bomb I don't know if I'm supposed to say this on YouTube but but that's the one that I got because it smells amazing. A replenishment of my Mint Juleps Lip Scrub. A Rose Argan Body Conditioner. And I also reviewed this in my favorites video. A brand new shower gel. This one is the Rose Jam. And this is supposed to pair up well with the Rose Argan Vanishing Cream. One of their body butters. This is the Aquamarabilis. And this smells like peanut butter and I can't get enough. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a separate video on Lush Cosmetics. Just kind of like a 101 if you're new to the brand and you don't really know what you want to get first. Just to give you suggestions on what I've tried in the past and what I love and what I continue to use and also things that I don't really care for. So next I have a mountain of Tarte Cosmetics and I got their Brazilian Self Tanning Lotion Buffer Kabuki Brush. It's a Maracuja Sea Brighter Eye Cream. Pure Maracuja Oil Rollerball, a replenishment of their Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation, which I did a first impressions video on, so I will link that down below. The Airbuki Foundation Brush, which I didn't have when I filmed my first impressions on the Airbrush Foundation. So I'm really curious to see how well the foundation applies with this particular brush. Inner Rim Brightener, which is just a beige or a peach liner. Maracuja Crease concealer which I love especially for brightening under the eyes the Amazonian clay waterproof concealer which just looks like this and it is a stick concealer which is probably good for blemishes the Amazonian clay BB tinted moisturizer which I've heard so much about so I'm really excited to try this Amazonian clay 12 hour full coverage foundation and last but not least, I also got their Double Detox Amazonian Clay Exfoliating Facial Mask, which I'm really curious to try because I love anything that says exfoliating and mask in one name. So yeah, next up I have some MAC items. And I already did my Ruby Hearts MAC Fall Collection haul, so I'm not going to include that in this video. But I did pick up the Who's That Chick lipstick, which I wasn't able to show you in the video. So this is what the lipstick looks like. It's a frost and it is a yellow-orange shade that's really great for layering. I've already layered this with a dark lipstick and a red lip, so this is awesome, especially for the holidays. From the Retro Matte Collection, I picked up two colors. One is Fixed on Drama. Surprise, surprise, it's a vampy lip color. A lot of people said that it was a dupe for Talk That Talk. And although I think they do run very similar, the Fixed on Drama still leans a little bit more brown than the Talk That Talk. And this one applies a lot better on the lips. The other lipstick that I picked up from the collection is Runway Hit, which looks just like this. It's a muted, peachy, nudie shade. So I finally got my hands on 
Violetta lipstick, which I am wearing on my lips today. When I put this on, I was like, how can I not live without this color for so long? So it is an amplified purple color, and a lot of you are probably going to wonder how different it is from heroin. Besides the finish, Violetta actually has a little bit of an iridescence to it, and it leans a little bit more magenta in my opinion. And I actually like this a lot more than heroin. So if you skipped out on heroin, this is probably something you would like as well. I got Film Noir, which is more of a brown vampy lip. Also got Hang Up Lipstick, which looks like this. The replenishment of my Cleanse Off Oil. And I use this to remove my eye makeup because I tend to use a lot of waterproof makeup and this is the only thing that I love using for my eyes. From Nordstrom, I did pick up a replenishment of my Shiseido Cotton and I definitely cannot live without this stuff. I know it's kind of a little bit more of a splurge but if you compare this with a cotton pad from the drugstore it's actually not that much of a splurge and this actually saves a lot of product especially if you're the type of person who likes to invest in their toners I did get a sneak peek of Chanel's new holiday collection I didn't pick up everything that I wanted because the eyeshadow palette wasn't available I got one of their lipsticks this is the Rouge Allure Velvet and this one is in the color 317 La Precheuse. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I'm not French. It's just a red lip color and it is one of their matte formulas. I also picked up the blush from the holiday collection and it is called Accent and I have been eyeing this for a while now and it looks like this. Just by looking at the pan it doesn't look like it's something that would show up on my face but I am wearing it on my cheeks today and it's such a beautiful color and it's so pigmented and it is a nice rosy nude shade perfect for fall and winter if you do have a contour powder that's a little bit more on the taupey side it's great to pair up with that so from Bloomingdale's I picked up a few things it's Laura Mercier creme brulee sugar scrub and oh my gosh when I smelled this at the Bloomingdale's I was like dying because I wanted to eat it so bad but <laughs> it is a sugar scrub so maybe it is edible so it comes in a jar like this and it smells like a dream Oh, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I will let you know how this compares with my coveted ocean salt. The other thing that I got from Bloomingdale's is this YSL Youth Liberator Serum Foundation. And I got the shade BD50. The bottle just looks like this. It's so luxurious. It's a glass bottle. I've heard so much good things about this foundation and so I wanted to try it for myself. A lot of people that I know that have reviewed this foundation do have normal to dry skin and so I wanted to try how this works on my combination oily skin. The next few things I wanted to show you are from Sephora, a brand new Lancome Visionaire Serum. And I posted a photo of this on my Instagram claiming that this serum has changed my life and I do not take that statement lightly it really has changed my life and I started using this probably like beginning of 2012 and if you've just seen how my skin looked before that you would know that this really works it's great for minimizing pores and improving your skin's texture and also increasing the healing ability of your skin and also it really helps to diminish acne scars but not as much as other brightening serums. I also picked up the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation and I am in the shade 42 Golden Light. I was trying to debate between 42 and 44, but when I swatched them side by side, I felt like 42 was a lot darker, and so I picked up the darker one, and it suits perfectly on my skin. And I have been using this foundation nonstop ever since I got it, and I am wearing it on my face today, and so far I've been loving it. So let me know if you want me to do any reviews or first impressions on these products or anything that I've actually mentioned in this video thus far. From Neiman's, I picked up a few things from the Tom Ford Fall Collection. I picked up both of the eyeshadow palettes. 
These are actually not the typical packaging that eyeshadows come in. They usually come in a larger packaging because they come in four eyeshadows. But these both come in three eyeshadows. This one is in 02 She Wolf. And these are just taupey gray colors and they're very neutral so these could be perfect for a smoky eye. This one it's called In the Pink and this one is a little bit more daytime appropriate it's from Walgreens. I picked up two of the Elf and Disney Villains collection items. This one is an Evil Queen and it has a lot more cooler neutrals and both of these come in the same kind of packaging so it has a daytime tutorial and a nighttime tutorial, six eyeshadows, an eyeshadow brush, and then it comes in an eyeliner pencil, mascara, liquid eyeliner, primer, and a lip color. This one is in Cruella de Vil, and it comes in more warmer, neutral colors. So let me know if you want me to do tutorials on these two palettes whether it be something for Halloween or something that you would want to wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I also picked up two of the Maybelline Baby Lips Dr. Rescue Medicated Lip Balms and I actually haven't tried the original formula and I have heard very mixed reviews about it so I'm really excited to try this. As you all know, I'm very picky when it comes to lip balms. Last I got one of the Revlon nail stickers and this one is in Beaded Couture. I did see Ingrid wearing these on her nails in one of our videos and so I really wanted to try them for myself. So now we're down to the last few things of this haul and most of the stuff that I'm about to show you are fashion items. So I recently picked up this Philip Lim for Target purse and I was really lucky that I got it because my local Target actually didn't carry the collection. And I was actually really sad because the magnets right here in the flap actually came off already and so I was really bummed about that and so you know how the quality is of the Target purses but I'm trying to fix it with some super glue and I haven't really gone to it yet. From H&M I picked up this really beautiful jacket. It's really a nice jacket. It has these faux leather sleeves and it has this really nice lapel that has faux leather and then the body part is made of some kind of wool mixed material. It has zippered pockets on the sides which is actually really nice and edgy. From Cotton On, I got a few things. A circle skirt and it just has black and white striping. This floral skirt and I know this is kind of a trend for spring and summer but the color really transitions well into the fall and I do love wearing skirts like these and pair them up with tights or really long socks. This really basic sweater and it's just a white sweater and it has this studding all over the front. I got this really basic crop top from Windsor and it actually pairs up really well with the circle skirt, the striped one that I showed you earlier. But I really like it. It has this bodycon like material and the color really suits the fall season. It has this really cute ruffled sleeves which gives it some character. I also got this white peplum top from Windsor and it's really cute because it has this racer back. I'm really excited to try this especially with like black skinny jeans. So that was it for my very long collective haul and now I'm going to move on to the giveaway. One lucky winner will win Brazilian self tanning lotion, this kabuki brush, pure maracuja oil rollerball which I love and I recommend this especially for fall and winter, this mint juleps lip scrub, and the same bath bomb that I mentioned earlier. So the rules are very simple, all you have to do is be a subscriber of this channel. So if you haven't done so, the subscribe button is down below. Thumbs up this video. And last but not least, leave me a comment down below letting me know what is one thing that you cannot live without during the fall and the winter. You may comment as many times as you want for more chances to win, but make sure that your answers in every single comment are different. That was it for my haul and my giveaway. I hope that you all liked it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!